Let's see, what do we got to eat? Hmm. Hmm. First tip is don't stand around with the refrigerator door open. Hi, it's Grandpa Ron with some tips to get the most out of your refrigerator. For RV refrigerators, it takes a couple hours for it to cool down in the freezer section and about four hours in the refrigerator section. As far as the operation of your refrigerator, usually you use the LP gas. So we turn the gas on, just hold that button in, over to gas, in which case it'll light up. Uh, that's kind of the normal operation is using the gas. However, you want to, you can switch over to automatic. In that case, it'll run on gas, but if you are plugged in for 115 volt electricity, it will switch to the electric and then it goes back to the gas. So that's probably the best place to run it in. Anyway, that's the way I leave it. Um, these refrigerators don't have an internal cooling fan or circulating fan, so uh, it's a good idea to get one of these. Uh, it's just battery powered. Turn it on and it helps us stir the air around. Another tip for you when you're storing or not using your RV is on these Nork holds. There's a little tab here. If you pull this out, so we just pop that right up into there and they stay open. They won't bang around and you won't get the mildew. You will want to monitor the temperature of your refrigerator and freezer. Um, I actually made these custom thermocouples, um, but you can buy some wireless ones on Amazon and they work pretty well too. Anyway, because your refrigerator is moving around a lot and bouncing, um, you want to stow your materials. Those, uh, Disposable containers? Disposable? Yeah, we never dispose of ours. We keep reusing them. Um, funny story is when we first started RVing, we had a cab over camper. It goes on the back of a pickup truck. Uh, anyway, we were we drove to uh, Grand Canyon, and just before we got there, we camped for the night. But the next morning, my wife decided, well, maybe I'll make some jello. We can have that later. So she made the jello up, put it in the refrigerator, and off we went. Of course, it was the jello was in a dish with no cover on it. And we never even got out of the campground and that thing sloshed all over and we had this red runny liquid jello rolled down out of the refrigerator onto the floor and everywhere. What a mess. It must have taken us an hour and a half to clean up. Uh, anyway, we learned our lesson on that one. Is uh, How much can you tilt these refrigerators before they go crapola? So in case of this RV, that's front to back, no more than three degrees tilt. Now the side to side, it can take like twice as much, six degrees. So that's not a problem. But generally, if it's comfortable to sleep on your bed, the refrigerator should be okay. Um, but if you do happen to park on a city street that has a big crown in it, then you might have to shut it off while you're uh, out chopping or doing whatever you're doing. And then just turn it back on when you get back, back to the coach. It's really sunny out today. Sun can cause a little bit of havoc with your RV refrigerator, uh, especially when it shines right on the side here. Rolling out the awning can keep its side a little cooler and help your refrigerator. And that will uh, help keep it a little cooler inside. Refrigerators work okay when it's not too warm, but uh, when it gets hot, sometimes they don't cool off so well. I can feel the heat coming out of it. Oh, it's almost 100, it's over 100 degrees over on this side. To take this off is move these clips out of the way. There's the shelf here. Down here, these are the uh, cooling coils. This shelf is kind of keeping the heat from coming out. The big problem is the shelf. It kind of blocks the heat, keeps the, uh, keeps the full opening from being utilized, so I'm gonna have to remove that. I just need to cut this, this off flush to here and then I'm going to say that's good enough. I think the hardest part of this job is cutting through that panel to get rid of it. And uh, I'm using my uh, multi-tool with this blade here. A couple of cross members here to hold these wires back. 
put in some fiberglass insulation since this is going to be a real hot area. Okay, last piece going in up here. All the edges are caulked all around and it looks good. Um, I had quite a bit of insulation in there. This was the original panel. You can see how thin it is. It's uh, no insulation at all and that's a really hot spot so all right, I got my little cooling fan here right over the hot spot on the fins, um, but I need to make a bracket. I have basically a Z bracket. Uh, so I got the fan bolted on my bracket here. And uh, I'll see if she fits. Okay, that looks pretty sturdy. Fan's not actually touching the coil. So I think we're uh, good to go. Okay, she's running like a champ. And much cooler than the 134 that we had before. Time to sign off for RV refrigerator tips and modifications. This is Grandpa Ron, see you on the road. If you want to subscribe, click my little picture there. I think it's over that way. And uh, otherwise, how do you like my new ladder? Pretty cool, huh?